Welcome back. This is the final lesson for this module and it's going to be a pretty quick one. I just want to show you something that I typically need to use a lot during my design development drawings and that is revision clouds. Layout doesn't come with a revision cloud tool built in like some other software packages but we can very quickly build our own and I'm going to show you how. So first of all let's create a new layout file by going to file new. Let's choose the A4 portrait for now. Once we've got our new file, let's change the paper size by going to File, Document Setup. And under Paper, let's set this at 200 wide by 200 high. This is because we're going to save this as a scrapbook item later. So the way I'm going to do this is just to draw a series of circles using the circle tool over here. So if I just draw my first circle like this now, I like my revision clouds to be uniform. If you like them organic, then by all means, just keep drawing circles alongside each other to form a kind of cloud shape like this, okay? For me, I like to be precise. So what I'm gonna do is take this circle and drag a copy holding down the option key to do so. I'm gonna move that by 15 millimeters, simply typing in 15. I can then repeat this until I have about five overlapping circles. Okay, so now you can see I've got a collection of five equally sized, equally spaced circles. I'm then going to select all of these and do the same thing to create two additional rows. Okay, so here we are and I've got all of my circles arranged. The next tool I want to use is this split tool, which looks like a scalpel blade up here. And I'm going to use this tool to simply snap to each of these intersection points around the edge of what will be my cloud. And that will break the geometry. Okay, now it's simply a case of deleting these lines in the middle of the cloud that I don't need anymore. And I'm left with something that resembles a revision cloud. The last thing to do is to pick up the join tool up here, which looks like a glue pot. And then again, just select each of these lines that are left over, and this will glue them all together into one single piece of geometry. And that's it. All I have to do now is to save this as a scrapbook by going to File, Save as Scrapbook. Let's call it Rev Clouds. Okay, so now back in my drawing set, if I open my scrapbook dialog, I should be able to find my Rev Clouds scrapbook. And here is the Rev Cloud that I just created. And I can drag it and drop it just like this. I need to make sure that fill is turned off. And then I can scale and stretch this Rev Cloud as required depending on what's being changed in the drawing. I can also change the pen weight if I like over here in the shape style dialog. I could also change the stroke color if I wanted to. So it's a pretty versatile thing. I'd encourage you to perhaps create a few different revision clouds like this. You might look at creating different shapes or maybe a larger one and a smaller one, for example. But once you've created them once in the scrapbook, you can simply reuse them over and over again. Okay. So that's it for the design development module. As usual, if you have any comments or questions about this module, please share them in the course community and I'll respond as soon as I can. Alternatively, you can email me at mark at scala.studio and I'll get back to you there. In the next and final module and the culmination of all this hard work, we'll be delving into the details to produce great looking and super accurate construction documents using SketchUp and Layout. See you there.